This year, the AVID classes decided to tackle the topic of breaking barriers. Hi, I'm Ms. Ahern, and I teach AVID 9 at the FTK campus. Hi, I'm Mr. Mack. I am the uh, AVID site coordinator for San Leonardo High School, and I'm also the AVID 10th grade elective teacher. Hi, I'm Ms. Avar, and I'm the AVID junior teacher, and I was working on the Season of Service project with our classes, and our service project was Break Your Barriers. The freshman classes decided to take on two barriers, the first one being money and low income for families to help students trying to afford college. The second barrier was self-motivation. This project was shared with the junior class who also talked about ethnicity as a potential barrier and how to help people of color overcome this barrier to ensure the best outcome for their school career. The sophomore class talked about personal responsibility in the form of procrastination on schoolwork. This AVID class made a video with the help of SLAM to teach students how to make a SMART goal and achieve the goals they set out for. What is breaking barriers to you? Um, breaking barriers means doing whatever it takes to get to where you want to go. You know, if you think of a barrier, it's something that's standing between you and your goal or your objective, and breaking through it can be a metaphor for a lot of things. You climb over it, you get around it. Breaking barriers is just pushing aside all of the stereotypes of race, ethnicity, financial obligations, and just focusing on college and what you can do in your life and succeeding. Do you think this project was a success? I do. I was really impressed with the partnership between AVID and uh, the SLAM. You know, I felt that their uh, film production crews were really good about not being very intrusive in the class. Um, I really need to uh, commend them for their ability to be flexible because we did have to work uh, with kind of an unorthodox schedule, so it was a good thing. I do. I think it was a success for a couple of different reasons. One, um, in our class we explored different ways that uh, people could feel like they wouldn't be able to attend college, what their different barriers were. And so we had um, some, good, some good Socratic discussions around different barriers. Yes, I think this project was success. We put a lot of time and effort into it, and we tried to get a lot of people to come take pictures, and we handed out a lot of flyers to let them know what scholarships are available. I do think it was a success because a lot of people were able to know that there are other ways to get into college without being super rich. The, I think it helped a lot of people because we showed people who may not have any idea about scholarships. We told them all the great scholarship resources that are out there. How do you think this helped students? I think it helped a lot of people because we showed people who may not have any idea about scholarships. We told them all the great scholarship resources that are out there. I think this project helped people because it helped people realize how to make smart goals and better decisions in their work. This project helped people um, use multiple resources to find scholarships, ways to get into college for less. What would you do differently next time? Never, next time I would have my two periods collaborate together a little bit more. I feel like the momentum was a little bit different in the classes and it would have been fun to merge both ideas because they were strong and they did overlap a little bit. I think it would be better to plan this in advance and to reach out to more people to get it more popular and to get more support. I feel like if we all work together as a class next time, it will come together a lot more nicely. So I feel like if like more people would have came to taking pictures or something, it would have been like better because more more people would have gotten the information and stuff. Like Ariel said, like if more people came, like other people would be like, oh, what's going on? So they would come and then they'll see like they'll learn about what. The oh, I'm Ariel. I'm Eva. I'm Maria. I'm Carlos, and we, and are, we are avid. avid. <laughs> <laughs>